Firm objective, I would say Tyson Fury. Speaking of what of myself, I would still say Tyson Fury. Obviously, I'm not counting uh, Yusik out. I know he can uh, win this fight. He has a very good chance, maybe even. But um, I still go for Tyson. It's fight week. And as you'd expect, boxing professionals have come in their numbers to reveal their picks and predictions ahead of the fight. It's the ring of fire, and it's spreading really fast. I'm going to look forward to that fight. Really, that's going to be an interesting fight. I'm going to wonder. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just going to overpower him. He's going to catch up with him and overpower him. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Little guys are difficult to fight because they're harder to hit because they're smaller. And I think Usyk's going to beat Fury. I just think it's close, it's tight. But yeah. the way Fury struggled against Ngannou, I just think it's a tough fight for Fury to win because Alexander Usyk doesn't know how to lose. He's so good, such a top amateur, great crew. And while some think the fire will burn in Fury's favor, others believe Alexander Usyk has what it takes to set the ring on fire himself. Usyk has to move around a lot and he, he's going to be moving, using the ring up and he's going to be in and out. He's not going to be, you know, easy fight for uh, Tyson Fury. Well, the belt's going to travel back home to Ukraine. A win for, Ty for Tyson Fury, simple as that. If I'm going to be straight out, I'm leaning towards Usyk. I've got Fury a close points to see. We are now just a few days away from one of the most highly anticipated fights in boxing history as Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk face off. With all the greats in the sport giving their predictions as we head into the final countdown, the two heavyweights will finally meet in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, on Saturday the 18th of May, with the winner becoming the first undisputed heavyweight champion of the four belt era, as well as unifying the division for the first time since Lennox Lewis defeated Evander Holyfield in November 1999. The stage is set perfectly for the biggest heavyweight title fight in decades, with all the biggest stars in the boxing world having their final say ahead of the Ring of Fire showdown. Look at that bastard right there. Woo! Nice little elbow right in the eye. Fury and Usyk were originally due to face off on February 17th, but the Morecambe-born fighter was forced to withdraw after suffering a cut above his eye in sparring. Tyson Fury can become the undisputed world heavyweight champion on Saturday night when he fights Alexander Usyk in the much-anticipated unification fight. Heavyweight boxing has not had an undisputed heavyweight champion since 1999, and victory for Fury would cement his status as the best of his generation. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Telegraph Sport, Fury said he is not thinking about legacy and his only priority is getting paid. Usyk promises to be stiff opposition, however, having retained his International Boxing Federation, World Boxing Association, and World Boxing Organization titles when he stopped Daniel Dubois in the ninth round of his previous fight. Fury is looking to bounce back from his last bout, when he was knocked down by former UFC champion Francis before winning on a split decision. Punch. You've obviously been him against Wilder, who people are regarded as one of the heaviest punches of all time. How hard does he punch? He punches hard, but it was a bit like a, a hook on the back of the head. The knockdown in round whatever it was, three. But yeah, apart from that, he didn't really get me much else. Many of the biggest names in boxing have been interviewed ahead of the fight, and they made their picks and predictions ahead of the fight. Many think that Fury will become the undisputed champion, including Daniel Dubois, Francis, and of course John and Tommy Fury, while others believe Usyk will come away with the win. Usyk also predicted himself to win in the video, saying, There is no destiny. God is giving me the opportunity, and I am going to use it. As for Fury, he is as confident as ever, saying, I am going to knock him out. I can knock him out, or I can outbox him. Either way, I'll let him take his pick. Interestingly, British great Anthony Joshua was one of those tipping the Ukrainian to win, perhaps knowing better than anyone just how good the Ukrainian really is, having lost to him twice in his career. Former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua could face the winner down the line once Fury and Usyk have their contracted rematch. I try and be here. I tend not to go to many fights, but Saudi's putting on really good shows and that's an iconic fight, so I'll try and get out here with my team and the former world heavyweight champion reckons his former foe will do the business, calling him a phenomenal fighter. I've fought Usyk, so I can only speak on what I've experienced with him. Phenomenal fighter. 
I would say he's going to do a really good job, he said. I've never fought Fury, so I can't speak on what it's like to face him. Only speaking on what I know, I have to say Usyk will be victorious. Joshua lost his world titles to Usyk before losing the immediate rematch. But AJ has since rattled off four wins in a row, including big wins over Otto Wallen and Francis ahead of Fury, and Usyk going to battle for all the marbles. Matchroom Chief Hearn also made a stunning U-turn in his prediction. The English promoter originally sided with his fellow countrymen before picking the former cruiserweight world champion. But the 44-year-old now believes Fury will not only win, but also stop Usyk. On X, he wrote, Change my mind again. Fury by stoppage. I think Tyson Fury wins the fight. I mean, it all depends on if what we saw in the Ngannou fight was just him not taking it seriously, or you know, if it was him in decline, he's going to have a tough night against Usyk. I think he's going to be too big in that. Also, Mike Tyson was asked about his pick ahead of the match between Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, and he not only predicted the outcome, he also gave a detailed analysis of his thoughts on the match. Mike Tyson is fully aware of what it takes to step into the ring and partake in huge heavyweight clashes with so much on the line. The former world champion will be watching this weekend when Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk meet with all four world titles up for grabs. And speaking to a reputable news source, Iron Mike Tyson gave his prediction for the fight and broke down how he believes it will go. He said, hey, we should not focus on what Fury did against Francis, but you have to understand that he is still the champion. He made that night a great night. He gave Francis the opportunity, and that was just a bad night at the office for him. We all have bad nights. And listen, that was his bad night. I look forward to that fight, Fury versus Usyk. That is going to be an interesting fight, Mike Tyson said. Yeah, I'm going to look forward to that fight. I mean, that's going to be an interesting fight. I'm, wonder. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just going to overpower him. He's going to catch up with him and overpower him. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Little guys are difficult to fight because they're harder to hit. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just going to overpower him. He's going to catch up with him and overpower him. I gotta go with Fury. I think he's the best fighter in the world, especially in the heavyweight division. Great fighters lose. Great fighters look bad. That doesn't stop them from being great fighters. Since defeating Deontay Wilder to win the WBC crown back in March 2020, Fury has defended his title against Wilder, Dillian White, and Derek Chisora while Usyk defended his unified titles against Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. Make him miss, make him reach and make him pay at times. Whereas with someone like Tyson Fury, he's now... And that is the worst thing in the world you can do. Because the minute you trap for this boy, he's giving you... Tony Bellew believes Usyk's ability to set traps sets him apart from other heavyweights after feeling his full force in their cruiserweight contest back in 2018. When I fought him nearly six years ago, I had a small idea of what to expect. But when you're in the ring with him, it's totally different, Bellu told a news source. Lose, and you're gonna drastically, you know, you look at the fight that he's fought and he's been, he's gone to every single champion's backyard and their patch and beat them up on their patch. Uh, the job that he done uh, on Mora Garcia in Russia was absolutely phenomenal. He did not take a shot. And His brain and feet are on another level to pretty much anything I've ever encountered. And don't forget that I was an amateur who went all around the world sparring boxers from some of the most decorated countries. You're gonna lose and you're gonna drastically, you know, you look at the fight that he's fought and he's been, he's gone to every single champion's backyard and their patch and beat them up. He then recalled his fight with Usyk six years ago. You never feel fully in control with Usyk, and I've always believed that being able to fight calmly when under pressure is one of the biggest assets a fighter can have. His slight movement with his feet and his feints always have you thinking, and his ability to set traps you don't even see coming is something else. Also, Bellew anticipates Fury trying to use his size and a versatility to bully his opponent, but feels Usyk will be too good on the night. In Fury, Usyk will have a big problem to solve because Fury is also an intelligent fighter, and if he uses his size the way he should, he can cause Usyk some serious issues, the former world boxing cruiserweight champion added. Fury's ability to fight from both stances and his movement for such a big man means that he can also make his opponents think non-stop. If you want another example of his variety, then look at his fight with Klitschko, where he essentially bullied the veteran champion. He also added, detailing Fury's advantages over Usyk as well. Single champion backyard and their patch and beat them up on their patch. 
Uh, the job that he done uh, on Mora Garcia in Russia was absolutely phenomenal. He did not take a shot, and that's what he's capable of doing when he gets in. A Fury's versatility is a major strength because we can look at various stages of his career and see that he can always find a way to win. Bulldozing Deontay Wilder, wrestling with Vladimir Klitschko, overcoming cuts and knockdowns, this is a fighter who always finds a way, but I'm not sure that happens against Usyk. Fury has shown he can be hit and hurt by boxers nowhere near the level of Usyk, and that's a concern against a man who is so accurate. Fury will push on and try to impose his size and strength, but I just see Usyk being too good in winning on the scorecards to add another impressive addition to his already incredible record. As long as there's no controversy from officials, this is Usyk's fight on points. He's, been, he's gone to every single champion's backyard and their patch and beat them up on their patch. Uh, the job that he got uh, on Mora Garcia in Russia was absolutely phenomenal. He did not take a shot and that's what he's capable of doing. This was also the belief of former World Boxing Association super middleweight champion George Groves. Speaking to a news source, Groves backed Usyk to grab the win. He believes so much in Usyk's intelligence, claiming Usyk is aware of the size advantage of Tyson Fury and wouldn't fall victim to that. I think Usyk is far too smart to fall into that trap of having the bigger guy lay on him and use his size against him. He cuts out at amazing angles. He can himself into angles where he can touch you three, four, five times before he gets that power shot in. He's done it time and time again. Since he has moved up to heavyweight, he hasn't put a foot wrong. He'll be the favorite, I think. I think Usyk's the favorite. I think Usyk wins this fight. I don't, you know, you see Fury now. He looks in much better shape than he was before. And you think, oh, well, maybe, maybe. But I just think of not just their most recent performances, but over the their pool of... From the look of things, the middleweight's all inclined towards a win for Alexander Usyk, probably because he had fought in another weight class in the past. Another former professional boxer who also picked Alexander Usyk was Carl Frosch. Carl Frosch held multiple super middleweight world championships, including the World Boxing Council title twice between 2008 and 2011, the International Boxing Federation title from 2012 to 2015, and the World Boxing Association title from 2013 to 2015. I think Usyk's going to beat Fury. I just think it's close, it's tight. But yeah. the way Fury struggled against Ngannou, I just think it's a tough fight for Fury to win. because. Alexander Usyk doesn't know how to lose. He's so good, such a top amateur, great cruiserweight. Speaking to a news source, Carl Frosch said, What's Usyk now? 37 years old? So he's slowing down, but he's got the ability to have a couple of close rounds, not lose the round, and say, Right, I struggled there. He goes back to his corner and then just lays it on. He gets behind more feints, more footwork, more aggression with the body language. He doesn't even have to throw a punch. He won't allow Fury to just lean on him and outweigh him. Former Ultimate Fighting Championship heavyweight champion who made his boxing debut in an astonishing match against Tyson Fury surprisingly picked Fury despite their beefs and feuds. Francis recently lost his second boxing fight in a second round knockout to Anthony Joshua. And when predicting this fight, he said, If I am objective, then I would say Tyson Fury. I am not counting Usyk out. He can win this fight. He has a very good chance, but I still have to go for Tyson. And maybe we can have the rematch. Lennox Lewis the last undisputed champion back in 1999 has had his say, as have many other high-profile individuals from the world of boxing. Speaking to in an interview, Lewis said, It's an interesting matchup, but I always say if two guys have the same technical skill, the bigger fighter wins because he can force his size on the other guy. It's happened before where the smaller guy won, but in this case, Tyson Fury's got lots of different weapons in his arsenal. He also added, I believe the bigger guy, the better guy wins. They both have good skill and Usyk has good movement with good balance and puts his punches together well. But he's going up against a 6 foot 9 in guy and for me, Tyson Fury is very elusive even if he is so big. If he makes you miss, he makes you pay. Usyk has to move around a lot and he, he's going to be moving, using the ring up and he's going to be in and out. He's not going to be no easy fight for uh, Tyson Fury. Conor McGregor is set to return to the octagon after a long time out. And he also made his comments on the match between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. The former UFC champion did not want to pick a winner when he was asked by the BBC and said, Usyk is a crafty, crafty boxer. If anyone can do it, maybe Usyk can do it. 
But Tyson is also a crafty boxer, McGregor said. Plus he has the size. Tyson is a tough man to beat in the boxing arena. So the ultimate fighter is airing now in a couple of days on ESPN. And by the time that show finishes, we have a date and everything set for Oscar De La Hoya, who is coming off a run of mixed emotions after seeing his signee, Ryan Garcia grabbed the biggest win of his career and faced doping allegations consequently, while Jaime Mungia also lost a chance to defeat Canelo Alvarez two weeks later. Commenting on Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, the former three-weight world champion sees two very similar fighters. F. I think Tyson Fury is the bigger version of Usyk. He has speed, he has power, he's very versatile. I have to go with Tyson. Tyson Fury is a uh, bigger version of uh, Usyk. So yeah, it's, it's a great fight. I think it's going to be... Uh... Evander Holyfield, former cruiserweight and undisputed heavyweight champion, most famous for his controversial win over Mike Tyson after Mike Tyson bit his ear off. Holyfield surprisingly predicted the bout to go in favor of Alexander Usyk. He said, There are things Fury doesn't do well. He doesn't fight inside really well. Nobody comes in quick to hit him with punches. It will show when he fights Usyk. Usyk is a good fighter, but Usyk has got fast hands. He can fight inside, he can fight outside. So you will see a big difference. You've got to be a complete fighter to win all the time. He's, he's not fast as Usyk. Usyk going to throw more punches, so Usyk going to hit him a lot. I, I, I think when it all come down, it come down to what's guy going to now, who says a mean guy? He Former World Boxing Council heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder, who's had a trilogy with Tyson Fury, tying the first and losing the second and third, expectedly predicted in favor of Tyson Fury. Deontay Wilder had three opportunities to end Iron Mike Tyson's unbeaten run, but he couldn't on all three occasions after getting so close the first time. Favoring the Gypsy King, Deontay Wilder said, Fury's size is what makes him gain more success. When I see him against Usyk, I see how they cheated Steve Cunningham with that clubbing, putting his weight on him and clubbing him. And I could see him doing the same thing with Usyk. I do think Usyk has more skill, but when it comes to the size and stuff, I don't think he'll be able to compete with the size of Fury. Every size is what make him, what makes him, I think, gain more success and stuff like that. When I see him and Usyk, I see how he, uh, how they uh, uh, cheated Cunningham with that club and he laid his weight. However, Malik Scott, Deontay Wilder's trainer, had something different in mind from his trainer. Contrary to what Deontay Wilder picked, Scott had predicted a win for Usyk. In terms of the winner, I would go with Usyk, but at the same time, Fury is big and knows how to use his size. Fury is in better shape than I thought he would be. He's not slow, he has good punching power and a good boxing mind. It's a good fight on paper, but we'll see what happens, he said. Adding to the list of predictors was Andy Ruiz Jr., former unified heavyweight champion who defeated Anthony Joshua to clinch the unified heavyweight title before losing it to the same opponent months later. Making his prediction in favor of Usyk, he said, I think if Usyk throws his combinations, goes inside, sticks to the game plan not let Fury box him around, use the jab, use the distance, then I think Usyk will do good. Um, I think Fury has a lot of experience and I think the reach will get him with uh, anything that's possible in this boxing, especially in the heavyweight division. Former unified featherweight champion Prince Nassim Hamed had a quite tricky prediction that ruled out a knockout. He believed if both fighters fight till the very last round, then the world will see Fury become the winner. He claimed, I'm hoping Tyson Fury is going to win that fight on points. I believe that if he stands up in the 12th round, he will get his hand raised regardless of what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> the eyes. That's an interesting fight. Um, I'm expecting a good fight. If I had to predict the fight. A heavyweight contender, Philip Hergovich believes Alexander Usyk is the more complete fighter and out of the pair, he's the one who never loses shape. Hence, his prediction in favor of the Ukrainian fighter. When talking to a news source, he said, I give Usyk a little bit of an edge in the fight because he is the more complete fighter. He is always in good shape, has great defense, good footwork, and he has solid power as well. I mean, it's like 50-50 fight, really hard fight, for, hard fight for both of them, but I give Usyk a little bit of the edge in the
Derek Chisora happens to be the only one to be a former opponent of both Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury. And owing to that experience, he picked Tyson Fury ahead of Alexander Usyk. Tyson to win. He's the bigger guy. Longer reach. Just Tyson. This is like a man taking candy out of baby's hand, bro. Tyson's gonna win. He's gonna walk through that guy. That's it. Uh, the run now, my, the winning awards go to Usyk now, because all Usyk has to do is keep hitting that same mind and it's gonna bust. And the ref will stop the fight. Usyk teams were asking for uh, Tyson. Daniel Dubois, another heavyweight contender, Daniel Dubois, picked Fury ahead of Alexander Usyk. Many who picked Fury acknowledge Usyk's intelligence and technical ability. However, they feel Tyson Fury is equally intelligent, and if that's the case, then his size advantage makes him the likelier fighter to win. Well, we'll see. I hope Fury does it. Whatever happens, I hope Fury wins. Do you advise him target the body? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Jump on him, man. Jump on him. Dubois said, Fury has his own IQ, he makes it up as he goes along and it works. I hope Fury wins, I want him to win. If he wins, then it puts the heavyweights in England in a better position. Hamza Shiraz, a professional boxer and middleweight contender, picked Fury, but claimed it must be a hard-fought victory, as Alexander Usyk is no run in the park. Fury knows how to use his size, and he is athletic with it as well. I think if you're fighting someone like Usyk, then you need to be able to do what he does, but do it better. Fury will have the bit between his teeth after his last performance. No destiny. The God gives me the opportunity and I'm using this opportunity. I'm gonna knock him out. I can knock him out or I can outbox him. Either way, I'll let him take the pit. Saying this, one must be aware of hubris and this certainly cost the Gypsy King last time out, with his previous performance in the ring not quite going to plan. Despite claiming the win against former UFC champion Francis on his boxing debut, the Cameroonian impressed throughout and even knocked Fury to the canvas in the third round, with many believing that he deserved the win on the night, subsequently ending the Brit's unbeaten record. However, with it still intact after a lackluster performance, he will be hoping to set the record straight this time. However, he may have his work cut out when facing Usyk, with the 37-year-old currently holding the World Boxing Association, International Boxing Federation, and World Boxing Organization belts, defeating the likes of AJ, Derek Chisora, Tony Bellew, and Dubois throughout his illustrious career. This fight has been eagerly awaited for quite some time now, with the bout originally scheduled for the 17th of February, only to be cancelled due to an injury Fury sustained in sparring. But now, the duo are ready to settle the score in just five days' time in a fight that promises to be one of the most intriguing spectacles in recent boxing history. And that's all for now. What are your thoughts on the predictions? And what's your own prediction? Let's see them in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until next time, peace out.